See basically the entire Miami Valley under a winter weather advisory, and that means be careful. We're going to see slick roads and some snowfall accumulation over the next couple of hours. Now up in Troy, you can see how we just started off the day with some cloudy skies. Then that snow started to build in around 1, 2 o'clock this afternoon, quickly coated the ground and that camera lens as well. Current temperature 28 degrees, and that snow is still coming down. Of course, we're tracking it using the power of Live Doppler 2X here. You can see some of those heavier bands just off to our east. We're seeing that through Urbana, Springfield, down through Jamestown and Xenia, and then down around Middletown as well. All of this is building in from the west, and it looks like we have some more back off in Indiana that we're going to have to continue to deal with as we head on through the evening hours. First, some of that heavier snow up around Mutual, Urbana, down towards uh, Tremont City as we continue to head a little further south. Springfield, Yellow Springs, Enon, those darker blues really indicating some of that moderate snow which can cut down visibility to as little as about a quarter to half of a mile. And then we're seeing more of that moderate snow out around Bellbrook just now exiting the Kettering, Oakwood, and downtown Dayton areas. Again, all of this continuing to roll in from the west. Even places like Morrow and down towards Clarksville and Waynesville are dealing with this snow shower activity. Again, Indiana still has some more. That's going to eventually circulate on through our area and it looks like we're going to continue to see on and off snow showers not a big heavy system but periods of heavy snow followed by a couple of light flurries weather checkers mostly calling in with those temperatures down at if not below the freezing mark 29 degrees with Don up in Sydney 31 in Springfield and we're looking at 33 degrees with trot in Trotwood with Pat Leekan and 30 degrees in Union. But the big story with winter storms is usually not the air temperature so much as the ground temperature. Is that snow sticking? And as we take a look at our road temperature sensors here, you can see Lewisburg, Piqua, Botkins, Richmond, and Oxford all below freezing, so be careful. We are going to see icy patches on those roadways. We can even check out one of those ODOT sky cams here. Again, watch how that snow is coming on. But nothing sticking on those roadways just yet. However, that may change with those temperatures on on the chilly side. Some more news for you here. Again, that system circulating on in from the west. Not a big powerful system. In fact, once we get through these first couple of bands of heavy snow, things will really start to lighten up. So just some flurries and non-accumulating snows once we get to about 10, 11 o'clock. So 8 o'clock we still could see some accumulating snows, but it should end quickly thereafter as we head into 10, midnight, 2 a.m., just some scattered snow showers across the Miami Valley. And then our temperatures will really drop off. It looks like right now about one to three inches for the majority of the Miami Valley. We could see some pockets of slightly heavier amounts up around Piqua, Union City, Salina, Wapak, and Bell Fountain. That's where they could see, if they're lucky, up to about three or four inches of snow. And I guess if you're lucky, all depends on your state of mind. Temperature right now? Well, most locations below freezing, 28 degrees, winds out of the west-southwest, 15 miles an hour, and that's giving us a wind chill of 17. So not only do we have the snow to deal with, but also some very cold readings as well. Average highs and lows, 21 and 35 today, a little bit above average tomorrow. That won't be the case. So this evening, moderate snow, 30 degrees, temperatures continuing to drop off here. As we head on through the evening hours, that snow will back off, temperatures dropping down into the 20s. So a very cold night will be all the way down to 21 degrees as its snow shower activity tapers off tomorrow morning. 22 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, still a couple of flurries possible. And then as we head on through the day, we have another weak disturbance rolling on through, and that could give us some more flurries as we head on into the afternoon. 27 degrees, your high temperature, snow showers possible throughout the afternoon. And right now, it looks as though your seven-day forecast is actually bringing in a little bit of sunshine as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. Not bad. And then for New Year's, another system rolling in could give us some light snow snow showers uh, Thursday into Friday. Temperatures really dropping off, though another uh, real large area of some Arctic air dropping down from the north for next weekend. So, so all those